going on guys in this video we are going to take a look at probability rules now let's look at the definition <coughs> the definition says probability deals with experiments that yield random short-term results or outcome yet reveal long-term predictability the long-term proportion in which a certain outcome is observed is, a, is the probability of that outcome probability is how likely it is that some event will happen the law of larger number as the number of repetitions of a probability experiment increases the proportion with which a certain outcome is observed gets closer to the probability of the outcome definition sample space for a probability experiment sample space is the collection of all possible outcomes denoted with s sorry i don't know that one alexa stop stop event any collection of outcomes from a probability experiment denoted with E. List the sample space of the following. You are picking two people from the following group. Order doesn't matter and you cannot pick the same person twice. Here we have Bill, Sally, Mary and David. So we can we can pick two people but we shouldn't pick up the order doesn't matter and we cannot pick the same person twice. So Billy plus Sally. That's one and Billy plus Mary and Billy plus David. Then if you pick Sally, Sally plus Mary and uh, Sally plus David and Sally plus Billy is already done. So we cannot do that again. Then Mary plus David and Mary plus Sally is already done. Mary plus Billy is already done. So that is the sample space for the following. Okay. Now let's look at the next one. Notation. P represents a probability A, B, C, E specific events. P of E. The probability of event E occurring. Rules of probabilities. The probability occurring should be between 0 and 1. We cannot have greater than 1 or less than 0. The sum of all possibilities of outcomes must be equal to 1. Definition. Probability model lists all the possible outcomes of a probability experiment and each outcome's probability. Now determine if the following is a probability model. And we know that if it's a probability, when we add all of these together, we should get 1. Alexa, add 0 0.2 plus 0 0.1 plus 0 0.3 plus 0 0.3 plus 0 0.1. Sorry, I'm not sure about that. Alexa. 0 0.2 plus 0 0.1 plus 0 0.3 plus 0 0.3 plus 0 0.1. 0 0.2 plus 0 0.1 plus 0 0.3 plus 0 0.3 plus 0 0.1 is 1. So 1. We are getting 1. Since we are getting 1, this is a probability. This is a probability. Yes. Whether it's a probability? Yes. Now let's look at the next one. Determine if the following is a probability. Alexa, negative 0 0.3 plus 0 0.5 plus 0 0.8 the answer to your calculation is one this is one but this is not probability because we have a negative value even if it's one it's not a probability because we can't have a probability value of negative so this is no even if we get one it's no no because of the negative value now let's look at this one construct a probability model how many times you break law in some week zero to hundred two people two times and 101 to 200 10 times 201 to 400 15 times over 425 times now let's add here here we are going to make a model they ask you to construct a probability model and here we have the uh, range and frequency Let's write the range. Number of loaves. Number of loaves. 0 to 100. Frequency. Frequency. It's 2 times. And then 101 to 200. It's 10 times. And 201 to 400. It is 15 times. And over 400. It's 25 times and if you add all of them together you will get 52 
now the probability probability is basically the this frequency divided by the total value 2 divided by 52 that's equal to 0 0.38 and then 10 divided by 52 that is 0 0.192 15 divided by 52 that is 0 0.288 and then 25 divided by 52 that is 0 0.482 and that's the that's the answer for this question probability model for this one now let's look at the next one what does probability mean impossible event is equal to 0 certain event is equal to 1 any event is between and including 0 and 1 0 0.5 means 50 over 50 chance and unusual event is an event that has a low probability of occurring 5% 5, 5 cutoff point rule 1 for empirical approach probability of E is equal to frequency of E divided by number of trials of experiment find the probability a survey of 700 randomly selected students showed that 100 of them believe in ghosts what is the probability that a randomly selected student believe in ghost? So 100 believes in ghost. Total we have 700. So 100 divided by 700 is equal to 0 0.1429. In percentage it is 4.29 percentage. So 4.29 percentage is the possibility of picking up a student from them is believing the whole ghost. Rule 2 says classical method theory P of E is equal to number of ways E can occur over number of different sample events M over N. Find the probability a box contains 5 blue markers, 3 red markers, 7 green markers and 10 black markers. What is the probability that randomly selected marker is black? Now P black, we want to find P black. P black that is equal to 10 divided by the total 10 plus 7 is 17 17 plus 3 20 20 plus 5 25 so totally 25 10 divided by 25 that gives us 0 0.40 now what is the probability of uh, randomly selecting it's blue p blue that is blue we have 5 total we have 25 that is 0 0.20 okay now the next thing is find the probability excluding leap year and the probability of being born in any particular day in the same as any other day a part says what is the probability that a randomly selected person was born in born on the first of the month there are 12 months so first of the month means 12 over how many days in a year we have 365 days so 12 first of the month divided by 365 and you will get 0 0.0329 and what is the probability that a randomly selected person was born in January in January we have 31 days totally we have 365 days that gives us 0 0.0849 what is the probability that a randomly selected person was born on the 31st day of the month there are seven months with ending in 31st so seven days of 31st in 365 days so we will get 0 0.0192 that's it for this one find the probability out of a standard deck of cards a card is drawn at random the find the probability it is a heart there are 13 heart cards like each card contain 13 cards so heart has 13 totally we have four different types 13 times 4 52 52 that gives us 0 0.25 find the probability it's a king so there are four types of card each one has king so 4 divided by total cards is 52 that is 0 0.0769 and find the probability it is a red card there are four types card two two of them are red color so each one has 13 so 13 times 2 26 divided by 52 that gives us 0 0.5 and that's the probability of getting a red card and then rule 3 simulation method p of e is frequency of e number of trials of experiment and this one is more likely um, 
there is no particular answer for this because simulation mean it can ha- happen uh, like any way so these things will not be coming in the exams and these are the main main uh, probability rules i hope you guys find this video helpful thanks for watching and uh, if you are trying to learn treatment of experimental data or statistics there are a bunch of videos in my playlist i hope you guys watch that too don't forget to subscribe see you next time